how's it going again? What's happening? What is taking you guys so long? I was just wondering. What is taking you so long, Daniel? Mr. Logic before authority? What's taking so long? What happened? Why do you keep blocking my channels, huh? Are you sick and tired of me questioning your truth? What happened, tough guy? Did you finally come to the re realization that you got it wrong and you're not man enough to admit it? Is that it? Come on, your silence is speaking volumes. Let's go, tough guy. You're the one that said it. Dabu7 is the one that said it. Back it up. I'm calling you out, man. Let's go. Listen, we're going on two weeks now. What are you waiting for? I thought you were this big pillar of truth. What are you waiting for? Let me guess, you're waiting until next Christmas, right? Now, I'm going to tell you something right now, Daniel. You know what? Your conspiracy conference, after investigating, it's a fraud. It's a scam. It has been set up to defraud people. Period. And guess what? I put my name on it and my face on it. Isn't that neat? And how would I know this? Because, see, your past record, sir, you have defrauded people over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, buddy. Because that's what you do. You have been busted at it several times. Let's see, uh, you have a judgment against you for over $13 million. You got another one against you for what, 16 grand? Another one against you for like three grand? Another one against you for like 10 grand? Listen, buddy, you have done this over and over and over again, defrauding people. This is just a scam to sit there and take money from people because you know people are interested about conspiracy theories and all that stuff. And what are you going to bring to the table? Huh? What are you going to bring to the table? A bunch of, let's say, plastic chairs with some maybe plastic little tables. You're going to have little pamphlets you screened off in your computer. And you're going to have a couple of dudes from YouTube, right? That you've been trying to recruit all these big YouTubers to come to your fraud so you can use their subscribers and their name to rip people off. And I said it, and I'm standing behind it. Because I'll tell you something right now. I remote viewed your ass, buddy. You aren't going to do this all over the country because it's going to flop. It will flop, dude. It sure will. And you know what? I feel like it is my duty to alert people that you're setting them up for a fall. And I'm backing it up, too. Isn't that neat? And if you would like, I'll be happy to put down the links down below so people can see your past history of fraud. You wouldn't mind, would you? You see, that's evidence, dude. That's the actual court dockets that are backed up. That you did, Mr. Cannon. Tough guy. You sit there and run your mouth, and then you don't back it up. And then when you're questioned and called out on it, what do you do? You run away. You act like it's no big deal. Really? Then this video isn't going to be a big deal either, is it? And it's not going to be a big deal that I'm going to be running all over the internet, contacting people and alerting them either through text and or video or audio and telling them be extremely careful from this fraud, which is you, buddy. You're a scam artist. You try to manipulate people, you try to coerce people, you try to defund and defraud them. For what? Because you want to be some big hotshot. You sit there and contact Cher and Roseanne Barr? You're a joke, dude. You are a fraud. Do you really believe that they're going to speak at your conference knowing that, first of all, you're a criminal? Period. Those are facts. 
that can actually be backed up by state documents. You mad, bro? Are you mad? And don't be contacting my friend saying, choose a side. Really? You're a joke, dude. And I'm calling you out. Where's the information? You ain't got it. And you'll never get it because I ain't that person. And you didn't investigate it, pal. Now let's go to you, Dabu7, and your fucking underground world news bullshit. First of all, it's not underground. Most of the stories that you're pulling is from mainstream media. Tough guy. Now, where's the video? Where? You don't have it. Because you didn't vet your goddamn sources, motherfucker. Mr. Justin Knight. How would you like it if I went to your area of Cincinnati and started getting a happy dance on your fucking name and your photograph with a bunch of bullshit information? Would that be okay? And I could just sign it with, This is Dabu7 in Underground World News. Would that be alright? Huh? I didn't hear you. Yeah, you're a clown, dude. You got that? You're a clown. Where's the information? See what I mean? You're holding the bag there, Justin Knight. You're holding the bag because of who? The manipulator in chief. The manipulator in chief. Daniel Cannon. The fraudster. The scammer. And you're holding the bag because you believe his bullshit. Yeah. You're a joke, dude. You and your underground world bullshit is what it is. It's There's nothing underground about it. You're pulling stories from mainstream media. You know what it is? You know what it is, Justin, Mr. Dabu7? I'll tell you what it is. You think you're fucking Mr. Fancy Pants, Mr. Hot Shit, right? That's what you think. You think you're all that. You're not all that. You're reading fucking goddamn stories that someone else fucking wrote without vetting the information. You're a joke, dude. Where's the video? Where? Come on, dude. Show us some docket numbers. Show us a state or a federal website that everybody can go to that you burped out of your fucking mouth. Where's it at, tough guy? You don't have it, and you'll never fucking have it. Ever. Because I ain't that person. You mad, bro? Now let's get to you, Adrian. You call in the freaking show on Lies Wide Open, run in your mouth like a little schoolgirl. Really? Get a grip on yourself, Sonny. We don't care about you, you got that? We don't give two shits about you, ever! God damn, dude! Take it up in a fucking courtroom! You fucking crybaby bitches! You know what's really funny? Is you can sit there and fuck with people and fuck with people and fuck with people, okay? And just say all kinds of fucked up shit. But when you get called out by somebody like me, suddenly you want to whine like a little fucking baby on a fucking radio station somewhere. You're a fucking crybaby. You know what? If you don't like what I say, pull out your goddamn wallet or your checkbook and file fucking suit or shut the fuck up. God damn it, you piss me off. Fucking little punk. All of you little bitches. You want to play games? And let's go to you, Jim Lee. Or excuse me, James Lee. 37 out of Sumter, North Carolina. Or South Carolina. You want to play games? Are you sure? Yeah, you've been busted, buddy. Sure have. You tell your wife that, too. She's not going to mind so much. When she types up your fucking name or anybody else that knows you personally and all kinds of shit's going to come up. The only thing is, it'll all be true. Isn't that neat? You fuckers want to play games? Okay, let's play. Let's play. Go ask Matt Saban how it worked out for him. He's still at number one. Isn't that neat? You fucking pieces of garbage. This is Daphne Saban and you're in the grand world news. Fuck you, buddy! Fucking piece of shit! 
You're a piece of shit, you cocksucker! None of you fuckers scare me. Bring it, motherfucker! Bring it!